Hi guys, it's Joy Blue again. I want to uh, continue on with something I showed you guys yesterday. We talked about the um, the rolling five day average. Well, what I want to do today is another windowing function, but I want to go in and actually do a prior day and do a prior day squeeze. So let's go in here and add another column. Um, so we're just going to look at profit. I'm going to run that. Let me minimize this so you can see better. Um, and so here we have day by day. Here's the profit that we had. And here's the average profit from yesterday. Now what I want to do is I want to get I want to get for like the second here, January 2nd, I want to get the prior day's profit. And what we're going to do is get rid of the average function and we're going to use a new function called lag. And with the lag function you say how long, how many times you want it to lag, and it uses the order by. So, like we did last video, the invoice date key was how we ordered it, and we're going to lag one, which will take us back one. So we don't need the rows clause for this anymore. So let's see what happens when we run that. So now what you can see is on the second day here, January second of 2013, we have the profit for that day. And then we have the prior day profit, which I still have an alias of average profit. So let's say prior day profit. We run that. And so now you can see how these are staggered. Right? So on the fourth, it had a profit of 54,000. And the prior day was the 70,000, which is right here also. So now if we want to get a. Um, a squeeze between the two days. All we've got to do is grab both of these. We're going to make a new column. And we're actually just going to subtract them off. So we're going to say prior our profit minus the prior day profit. And we're going to call this daily squeeze. And so let me run that. And so now what we've done is we've subtracted these off. And if you want to handle the nulls, you can do that pretty easily. Um, basically drop an is null on here with a comma and put a zero. And so there we have it. Got your daily squeeze. Use the windowing functions to get the prior day. And that's just another nice little feature from those windowing functions. As always, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Um, visit me on SQLTrainingOnline.com. Um, I look forward to hearing from you.